A 17-year-old boy comes to the office due to a facial lesion. The patient noticed a small area of rough skin on his lower lip several weeks ago, which has progressively enlarged. He reports no pain or itching. The patient had eczema during early childhood but has had no other chronic medical conditions. Vital signs are within normal limits. Physical examination findings are shown in the exhibit. There are no other skin rashes, oral lesions, or enlarged lymph nodes. The question is which of the following histopathological findings are most likely present in this patient's skin lesion? If you are one of the smartest people on earth, type the correct choice in the comment box below. A. Acantholysis and multinucleated giant epithelial cells. B. Epidermal hyperplasia and cytoplasmic vacuolization. C. Subcorneal bacterial collection and neutrophilic infiltration. D. Subepidermal linear complement deposits and separation. I am guessing you did not get the answer right. The correct choice is B, which is epidermal hyperplasia and cytoplasmic vacuolization. This patient has a common cutaneous wart, that is Veruca vulgaris. Cutaneous warts are caused by human papillomavirus, which also causes anagenital warts, that is condyloma acuminata. The virus is usually transmitted by direct contact and is most common in children, adolescents, and young adults. Cutaneous warts typically present as skin-colored papules or well-circumscribed plaques. They may also form complex filiform lesions on the palms or soles, that is palmar and plantar warts. They commonly present as tender plaques or nodules that disrupt the normal skin striae. The diagnosis of cutaneous warts is often apparent based on gross findings. Key findings on magnified view by dermoscopy include a roughened surface and small black dots representing thrombose capillaries. Biopsy is usually not needed but can confirm the diagnosis in atypical cases. Histopathologic findings include epidermal hyperplasia or acanthosis with eosinophilic inclusions and carotohyaline granules, thickened stratum corneum or hyperkeratosis, papilloma formation, perinuclear cytoplasmic vacuolization or coilocytosis. Now let's see why you were wrong. Choice A. Intraepidermal fracturing, or acantholysis, and formation of multinucleated cells are seen in herpes simplex labialis. Although this condition is often found on the lips and perioral skin, it presents with acute or recurrent blisters and ulcers. Choice C. Impetigo is a gram-positive skin infection that generates a neutrophilic infiltrate. It presents with erythema, blistering, and shallow ulcers with honey-colored crusts. Choice D. Bullous pemphigoid is an autoimmune disorder associated with antibodies against hemidesmosomes, leading to subepidermal complement activation and cleavage. It is most common at age greater than 60 and typically presents with pruritic plaques, erosions, and tense bullae. If you already knew the answer, or at least now know the correct one, click the like button.